Good Sunday evening. I'm meteorologist Craig Zyber. Thanks for logging on to WKBN.com. It was a warm day out there, one of the warmest days we've had yet this year. 87 was our afternoon high, 2 degrees shy of that record, which was set way back in 1934. 89 was that record high again. We were 2 degrees shy, so not quite there for the record, but it was definitely a warm day out there. If you don't like that heat, fortunately, there's some cooler air back in the forecast. If you like the heat, well, you have to wait a couple more days until that returns. Here is a look at the temperatures across the state right now. Notice across parts of the eastern uh, parts of the state, temperatures are still in the 80s. The rain, well, it's back beyond uh, I-71 quarter there in Mansfield. That's where those temperatures are starting to cool off. Here is that radar showing you those rain showers there along uh, just west of Akron starting to work their way into the region and from Cleveland. So these rain showers will be around throughout the evening. They'll be spotty in nature, but uh, notice the, some darker green showing up on that radar. That'll be a little bit more light to moderate rain as we go through the next few hours. And then the cold front is still far back into uh, Illinois and Indiana. That's where those line of showers and thunderstorms you see there on the radar. I don't expect much of these to work their way into the region here. Uh, if we do see any of this line, it will be much weaker than it is right now as we go into the next uh, overnight period. But then behind this system, a lot more sunshine. This area of high pressure that's creating the sunshine in the plains tonight. That'll be here as we get late into the day on Monday and into Tuesday. Let's play it for you here with your future tracker starting you off tonight at 9 o'clock. That's where those uh, rain showers will be hit and miss across the valley. Notice the temperatures will take a nosedive once those rain showers work their way into the valley, dropping into the 60s quite rapidly. We're going to have those winds continue to be gusty for a little bit more time this evening, and then those winds will start dying off as we go into your Monday morning. Temperatures will be much cooler as we start your day on Monday in the lower 60s, and we're not going to recover too much during the afternoon. A stray sprinkle or light rain shower is possible tomorrow, but I don't expect them to add up to much, if anything at all. Temperatures again tomorrow only in the mid to upper 60s, so a much cooler day. And then as we get into the evening tomorrow night into Tuesday, we're going to turn off even the clouds. A lot of cooler and clear skies to start your day on Tuesday. Notice Tuesday's overnight lows right around 40 degrees. So you're definitely going to need the jacket as we go through the day on Tuesday, but a lot of sunshine. Temperatures will only warm up into the middle to upper 60s once again, and a lot of sunshine around for your day on Tuesday. So a nice day Tuesday, just a little chilly. Tonight, 60 degrees overnight low with those uh, mostly cloudy skies. Areas of rain will be developing as we get to the 7, 8, 9 o'clock hour this evening. As we get to your day on Monday, cooler day, 69 degrees for your afternoon high. Those decreasing clouds as we get into the evening, just a stray chance of an afternoon shower or a sprinkle tomorrow. As we get into Tuesday, that's where you're going to be a lot of sunshine out there. 67 degrees, a cool day, but a lot of sunshine out there. Nice day on Tuesday, so hopefully you can get out and enjoy that after a cool start. Still staying cool Wednesday morning, lows only in the middle 40s, but then we warm up into the middle 70s by the afternoon. Then I expect another chance of rain showers late overnight Wednesday into Thursday with warmer temperatures starting to work their way into the region Thursday and Friday. Now, looking into late week and next weekend, I have a chance of rain every day, but none of these days are going to be all-day washouts. We're going to be on the edge of an area of high pressure of the deep south, and that will create waves of a few showers and thunderstorms at times on those days, but again, none of those days will be all-day washouts. We will cool our temperatures off by the time we get to next weekend, too. Temperatures in the low 80s on Saturday and the middle 70s next Sunday.